Officials with the Midland Memorial Hospital say that they're not just trying to meet CDC regulations, they're also trying to copy the hospitals that have treated Ebola patients before. Gloves, booties, gowns and masks, they were all a part of this exclusive video where specific hospital personnel trained on how to deal with an Ebola patient. We plan to further implement additional precautions in the event of a real Ebola case. Um, this includes additional training and adding more health care personnel to our response team. Val Sparks with Infectious Diseases says after confirmed cases in Dallas and two false alarms right here in Midland, they're not taking any chances. MMH Vice President Dr. Bob Dent tells CBS 7 this training at the Midland College Simulation Lab not only teaches hazmat and the new infectious disease response team how to put on and take off equipment, but where the equipment could use improvement. Staff says they're ready if need be, but still people should not be alarmed, not even the two who came in yesterday. They did not um, meet criteria for Ebola testing. The testing can only be approved through the State Health Department in Austin and the CDC. That it is only spread through direct contact with moist body substances. Sparks says make sure if you're feeling any kind of symptoms, call 6-8-NURSE beforehand or you can call the hospital with any kind of questions. Now in Midland, Sarah Strackhouse, CBS 7 News.